The placebo effect is the extraordinary phenomena of people getting better even when they've only had a dummy treatment or a sham treatment. So that can mean uh, a sugar pill, but it can also mean sham ultrasound, where somebody just holds the machine up to your body but doesn't really switch it on. Or even a, a fake uh, operation, where somebody makes the incision and then pretends to do the operation but doesn't actually do anything. And the fascinating and amazing thing is, it turns out that when people get these fake sham treatments, they often get better. What's interesting about the placebo effect is it shows the amazing power of the mind over the body. Not in a kind of flaky new age way, but in a very real sense. We really can um, make our pain better. We really can improve our own symptoms through our beliefs and expectations. All of the adverts, all of the magazine adverts that you've ever seen have all built up in your memory and have increased your expectation of a brand name packaged pill. What's also interesting is that the placebo effect seems to work on basically everybody. It doesn't matter if you think that you're a, a sceptic. And, and even children and animals respond to the placebo effect because the people around them, of course, have uh, uh, higher expectations of the dummy treatment that they're being given. And it's quite natural to expect that your children certainly would react to your expectations or whether they would get better. And so there are some fascinating examples of this. And the most interesting ones are the ones that compare one dummy treatment against another dummy treatment, because that's what shows that it's the placebo effect that's at work. So, for example, we know that four sugar pills a day, four dummy pills a day, are better than two sugar pills a day at clearing gastric ulcers. And that's an outrageous finding in some respects. Gastric ulcers are a very good thing to study, of course, because they're very, very easy to diagnose. You, you put a camera with a light on the end of it down your throat and you take a photograph of the stomach lining and you can see the ulcer is either there or it's gone. Four sugar pills a day clear gastric ulcers faster than two sugar pills a day. We know that the colour of pills is important. So it turns out that people experience green or blue pills as being sedating and red or orange pills as being alerting. And so what's interesting about that is the pharmaceutical industry know this too. If you look at uh, the packaging, for example, on antidepressant medication or anti-anxiety pills, that tends to be green and white or blue and white, whereas stimulant pills or antibiotics tend to come in bright red pills. There have been several different studies of pain looking at the placebo effect, and they show that a salt water injection, which has no active ingredient in it, is a more effective treatment for pain than a dummy sugar pill, a pill which is supposed to look like a painkiller. And what's interesting there is that the salt water injection doesn't have any drugs in it, the dummy sugar pill doesn't have any drugs in it, but a, an injection, I think, feels like a much more dramatic and serious treatment, and that's why people experience more pain relief from a dummy injection than they do from a dummy pill. So the interesting thing about all research is always, what do you do with it? And with the placebo effect, you're in an interesting ethical hole. All of the research shows that lying to your patients, misleading them, can help them get better. And actually, when you give somebody a placebo sugar pill, you don't expose them to any physical side effects. So people might say, well, maybe we should give placebo treatments very commonly. But I think that's problematic. I think that's wrong. Because to give a placebo treatment to a patient requires that you lie to them. And I don't think that doctors or anybody working in the NHS can lie to patients. I think it's ethically wrong, but also in the long run, when you lie to people paternalistically like that, eventually word gets out and you undermine the credibility of everything that you say. Even though we don't want to lie to patients, there is an ethical way that we can use the placebo research. Because what all of this research is telling us is that the way you give a treatment can have an effect on how effective it is. So we know, for example, that if we give treatments in a much more healing environment, with a, with a greater sense of positivity, with happier, more confident people in the NHS, in nicer settings, then that's, just, that's, not, that's not just wishy-washy. That really genuinely improves the outcomes of our treatments. And I think that's the real key, is to use all of the placebo effect research that I've described to find ways of taking treatments which we already know are genuinely effective and make them even better. For more information, visit www.nhs.uk.